What's up everyone, my name is Nigark. Welcome back to Planet Base. We're gonna load right back in here. I started here so I could show you that we are in bed at 8, which is which is pretty sweet. We're gonna load right back in. It's been a few days since I played. That's usually how it goes, two or three episodes. And then I say that it's been a few days since I played. Um, I'm gonna be talking a little bit softer than normal. I've been having a lot of really annoying throat and neck issues lately, so I apologize if I if I'm talking a little bit softer. So what did Beta 8 change? Not a whole lot that's really going to affect us. Meteors can only destroy one structure at a time, that's to prevent uh, really weird pathfinding and also engineers that are fixing things can actually walk through walk through bro broken things now to get to places just so that they can they can fix everything up. Um, there's a lot of other things but that's like the most important. Also People will prioritize, like, if I have a lot of vegetables but not a lot of meat, they'll eat more vegetables so they'll be more even. And, um, the transition from day to night. Solar panels will start and stop production more, more, like, promptly. And also there was a hint there for manufacturing limits. There's also more hints for, um, solar flares and sandstorms. So that's, that's what we're looking at with the update. Not a whole lot really crazy going on. But man, you guys are really cranky with me sometimes about just how how I do everything. And it's kind of funny. But uh, basically, you really want me to get the anti-meteor laser. So, after this biodome is done, I will work on getting the anti-meteor laser. I do have the um, semiconductors, and I know last episode I stopped making guns. What I didn't realize is that other colonists besides guards can have guns, and that's what these go to. I was a little bit curious what the point of storing them up was besides having them for guards, but if there are intruders, other colonists can go to the armory, grab guns, and help. So I will be turning back on guns after I have my food situation figured out a little bit more, because um, right now I'm not in a super hot spot for for um for food because that that's the issue that I'm running into right now can I shove in no it would have to be over here somewhere and I don't want to place anything on that wall quite yet not quite yet let's look at our grids really quick come on it's one of these buttons there we go power is doing okay also, someone mentioned something about power. I'll get to that in a second. Water, we're a little bit over half. Oxygen, it's still it's still a filthy, filthy liar. I'm still going to be expanding more oxygen over here and over here. So what what I was told about power collectors is they never, unless they're hit by a meteorite, their condition doesn't go down. So I can have just a ton of power collectors or power yeah power collectors. I don't know why they're called collectors when they don't really. I guess technically they collect it from the power generators. It, it should be batteries, whatever. I can have a ton of these and they won't have to be repaired by my spares. Pretty cool. So um, yeah, that's, that's really important. And also, let's see if I can look at one of these people. No, I can't really tell from their, their nutrition thing. But basically, um, I guess there's two different like hunger things that pop up over people's head. One is malnutrition, one is hunger. And because I didn't have a lot of meat for a while, they were getting a little bit malnutritioned. But I, I am fixing that with the amount of vitro meat that I'm getting now. And we're just waiting on this biodome. Let's see what it costs to get the anti-meteor laser. It takes five metal, two bioplastic, and two semiconductors. This is a trading ship. Do you have anything cool? You don't have anything cool. Go away. Don't care. It landed and I already told it to go away. So everything but the three metal is placed here. Yeah, I'm still I'm still a little bit cautious about my production on metal and stuff. Because I just don't have the workers to cover all of that. What I might do is bump down priority on this so that they they can spend more time in the mine, so having one higher priority on this processing, processing plant, one higher priority in the mine, and then sort of let them do as they please with the mine and that processing plant for right now. Eventually I'll probably switch this to low priority, not high priority, and then this one to high priority. But for right now, this is okay. 
So let's see, does anyone have any like outstanding needs that, right now? It looks like everyone is getting enough sleep finally. Which is really good, because that was actually like a huge concern for me. Like a really big concern for me. Alright, they are moving some, some veggies over here. Probably to a meal maker. And that's another thing that I'm going to have to look at is, um... If they are making plants over here, they're going to have to take it all the way to right here. Which is a little bit, a little bit sucky. And I don't think they're using any... I don't think they're using any vegetables for alcohol right now because they're focusing on eating, which is probably a good thing. It's probably the smart way to go about things. Yeah, and I'm also going to be getting more medicine plants because they are really good for trading. And that's something that you guys have been telling me as well, is that medicine plants are just really, really good for trading because they aren't high maintenance and you can so easily get a lot of them. So two more metal. There's going to be one of the metal. We're almost there. I'm itching my nose like crazy today. Ugh. I actually, right before I started recording this, I was about to hit record, and that freaking garbage truck came by. And it was like, hey, I'm gonna be really loud. I'm gonna be really loud, so I had to had to sit here and just like look at my screens for a couple minutes as it, as I listened to it go by. We're almost there. Oh, that's vitro meat that they're taking, okay. Solar flare hitting soon, okay. This is, I actually have a lot of time to wait for this. And now I'm going to be yellow alert. Yeah. Because I don't want it to get to the imminent point. I know that it gives me two warnings beforehand. Oh, why are you out here? Oh, you're a bot. You're a bot, right? Yeah, you're a bot. So you should be fine out there. Technically, if it were a um, sandstorm, I would be in a lot more trouble, but um, I think this is fine. But yeah, when they get radiated, they die quick. Structures- oh, it's because that just got built. It's just- it's because it just got built. I'm gonna get the anti-meteor laser, and then I'm gonna get oxygen right over here. I promise you. Alright, bot. Stop it. You're making- you're making everything go out of oxygen now. Training ship, do you have anything cool? You do not really have anything cool. Let me look. I could use that ore. Yeah, I think I could use the ore. And I'm so sorry that the... the crappy sound keeps going on. I'm trying to get past the solar flare. Biodome has no oxygen. Yeah, I know. I'm literally working on it now, but I can't expand to this. So we're gonna get two more medicines. Oh crap. This These can hold four. Okay, cool. We want... Is there a way to see, like, what my current vegetables are? Besides clicking on all of these? Radishes, onions, mushrooms. Potato, potato, wheat, pea, wheat, maize... Potato, rice, potato, tomato, potato, oak, come on, pea, mushroom, onion, radish, mushroom. I think I need more onions. I don't think I had any lettuce in there either. And I had all of these. I think I had rice, right? I might have. Where is that solar flare? Where's the solar flare? There, now we actually have lettuce. Which, if I look on the help page really quick, I've not been making like half of the salads because I didn't have lettuce. Solar flare imminent, so we are in the solar flare right now. The music is playing, the ground is lighting up like a Christmas tree. These people are stuck here with their, their latch open, getting all radiated because I'm not letting my people out to trade with them, which is kind of funny. 
18%, 17%. Yeah, oxygen is going right over here. And, um, anti-meteor laser. It's going to be really cool. Basically, the way, the way you pitched it to me that made me change my mind was, um, that the cost in semiconductors now is going to outweigh the cost. It, like, the, the cost of the spares that I would use to keep fixing things from meteors would highly outweigh the two semiconductors and the metal that I would put towards it now. Okay, now we are out of... Yellow alert. There we go. Sorry that the sound had to go on for so long, but that's that's how you do it. That's how you fix everything. O2, you're going right here. I was kind of hoping this would attach right here, too. But it's not. Do I want it to be an area that people will walk through? Not really. Eh, it can be like a connection walkthrough thing. Right there. We're going to have it attached directly to the biodome for right now. And it won't be able to attach to this, but I think that'll help spread it out that way a bit more than if I put it right here. Because these ones are doing okay. 21%, 19%, yeah, you guys are doing fine. Sweet, so we got some lettuce, we got some more medicine. And I will probably tack on maybe something like just a cabin over here. I know it's a dead end, again. I do pay attention to that, as much as you might think that I don't. Okay, so I'm in a I'm in a bad spot for for metals. I am definitely in a bad spot for metals. I did just trade for some ore, which is exactly why I did it. Let's look at my graph. I still have I have 20 workers, but it's really hard to tell. Okay, see, people are sleepy again. This is just like a constant thing that they're always sleepy. I think I think the the notification for them being sleepy either comes too soon or it drains too fast. I think that's what's happening. I think it might just be that the notification pops up a little bit soon, because I would think that, like, right here isn't really critical. Charges up pretty slow, too. <laughs> right on my lab, huh? What a jerk. But that shouldn't be an issue. It didn't knock out any, like, other connection, either. Yeah, you got your drink of water that you wanted. So... Working as intended, Beta 8. Working as intended. Trading ship. Because I'm not allowing colonists, it's all gonna be trading ships. I do like the little design on it, though. I like the gray and orange kind of look. So, I could get the GM onions if I traded my freaking my soul away. And also, you guys mentioned that I can hold this down and trade for more. So if I wanted to trade away, like, everything that I own... I could get that, and I'm not going to do that. So if you would just kindly give me all my stuff back and dismiss this. Yeah, this is getting fixed up. We do have a pretty good amount of spares. And I think part of why I'm running out of metal so much is because I'm constantly making spares and semiconductors. Yeah, that that's probably why. So I figured out the why. Now I have to figure out how to fix it. Um... They should still be working on bots. Are you shitting me? Okay. Thanks. Ugh. I, I say that I'm gonna work on the anti-meteor laser and before I can get it up... It's just, like, everything is pooping on me here. Okay. Someone died of asphyxiation because he was in this. He was in that as it hit, so that was a worker. Yeah, that was a worker guy. That, that kind of sucks a little bit. Now, if you would kindly not, not suffocate yourself in these areas, that would be great. So, we are going to get the anti-meteor laser. We're just going to put that little guy right there. This is all dead ends, except for the oxygen thing. But I still think I can expand up and past, because it looks like I can. 
So we're just gonna squeeze this guy right, right there. And we're going to attach him to this cabin. So when I get the metals, that'll be good. The structure's out of oxygen. I know, isn't it dreadful? So what what do I want to do right now? I think right now I would like to disable the spares workshops. I have a good amount of spares. I do have a good amount of spares. I know. That's why you fixed it and it's going to equalize. Uh, where was my other spares workshop? I know I had one. It was right here. Spares workshop. Disable that. So we're just going to run off of my 30 spares that I have currently. Semiconductor Foundry is going to keep going. They are like really, really good. As soon as we get another, another metal that isn't taken up, we are going to get another carrier bot. Uh, you know, we aren't going to up the priority on that quite yet. Yeah, we're gonna get another carrier bot when we have the metal for it. We need the metal over here and over here. <laughs> oh boy. And you guys are still working out. I am gonna have to get another multi-dome at some point. Kind of-ish soon, but not like super soon. Saving game, auto one. Interesting. I should have had more autos than that, but that's fine. Our sick bay is still doing good. I'm like trying to just look at everything in the base to see if there's anything that I missed. Like if I could fit more stuff in here, like water, I might do that. Like I can't throw in another table. All I can really do is fit more water in here. And because I have so much bioplastic, I am going to do that. Yeah. Do I need a building to do the... It doesn't say that I need a building to do the anti-meteor laser, from what I understand. We'll have to wait and see about that. There is another semiconductor foundry over here, which I'm going to disable that. And... Yeah, you can still make semiconductors, that's totally fine. But sacrificing the spares production now is going to be fine because once this is built, it's going to save me spares. Is the theory. That's the theory. How's my power storage doing? Is it charging is it charging up pretty well? I am gonna have to expand my power again soon. Pretty soon. Just just for comfort, and like I said, if I just throw on a bunch of power collectors, then they aren't gonna get hurt by anything but meteors. That's an airplane. Or is it? It might be a motorcycle. Um, water is still doing okay. No, I think that's an airplane. Uh, nope, that's definitely a motorcycle. Damn it! I was, I was back and forth on that one, and I, I thought I had it. Anti-meteor laser, it's about to be built. You're gonna be so excited for this. You are gonna love me for this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. They're coming out, they're coming out. And we got an anti-meteor laser. Boom. So it has a 60% chance. 0% chance. Oh, and it has a charge rate too. 60% chance. Uh, let me see. Exterior structure that can destroy incoming meteors. The chance of detection of a particular meteor depends on how many telescopes are operational at any given point in time. The anti-meteor laser takes a while to recharge and can only cover a certain radius. So it might be useful to build several of these in planets where meteors are a threat. Okay, so if my telescope is being manned, it has the same percentage chance. Ho! Oh, a meteor has been destroyed. I have a feeling that's going to destroy things that wouldn't have hit me anyways also. Just keep that in mind. I think that's also going to hit things that wouldn't have hit me anyways. But it's still really cool, admittedly. Man, there's a lot of noise outside today. Metal. I need metal. And I also want... What is this? Which one is this? It's not... Let me mouse over you. It's not telling me what it is. I don't know which one of the bots it is. 
But I do want to trade for it. Either way. Um, spares are really good for trade. It would be kind of pointless to trade for metal and then trade away all of my spares. What if... Because I'm less concerned about, like, my medical supplies running low, I am still a little bit concerned about my food, actually, so let's not do that. A little bit of starch and a little bit of bioplastic. I think it's totally fine. So we are gonna get that. Whichever one that is, I'm getting it. It looks like that one, I don't know which one it was. I honestly don't know which one that one was. Okay, oxygen is doing a little bit better over here. It's filling up. And I know people are saying, oh, put oxygen next to every, um, every canteen because that's really important because they want to be able to breathe in their canteen area. It's a little bit hard. It's a little bit hard to do that. Oh, driller bot, you are... Yeah, fucked up. Oh, I think that one might have hit me. <laughs> That's, that's really cool. I really enjoy that. That's, you gotta admit, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Okay, next I'm gonna look at power and water. Water is doing pretty bad. A meteor has been destroyed. It's destroying a lot of meteors. 60% chance, so over 50% is pretty good. So next thing is water. Water extractor. I know I said I didn't really want to expand all of this over here like I am. But it's kind of working out for me. To be entirely honest. It really is. Just having like all of this be power stuff. The only real downside is when they have to go out to fix it. It's a really, really long trip. I can technically start tacking it on over here. And I know, again, some people want me to like segment my base into like power and beds and food and production. And that's just not how I'm doing it. And I apologize because that, that's just not what I'm doing. It's not, it doesn't feel good to me to do that. I like having like a variety of how my base is being spaced out and cool stuff like that. Where do I want to put on water though? <laughs> Like right, right here? You could just tack it on right there, or right here, but my starport was gonna go here. Huh. Yeah, we'll just throw you on right there. It's gonna look kinda tacky, but it'll be fine. It'll be totally fine. Yeah, see, now you can see my vitro meat is sort of going up a bit, and my vegetables, like, it's evening out, where before it was like, have a ton of vegetables, because I'm making way, way more of them. Ooh. That was a close one. Power storage. Uh, power collector, that one's draining. I still have these two. But yeah, definitely thinking of ramping up the power. And also, which bot did I get? It didn't... Did I actually trade for a bot and not- Oh, that was an actual bot. That wasn't a thing. I think I got another driller bot. The only way to tell the difference is, like, the stuff on the outside, because they both have the double zero things. Yeah, I, for whatever reason, I thought I was buying the patent for it so I could actually make them. Oh, we're making a driller bot, though. Cool. And... Semiconductors, we are going to turn the arms workshop back on, I think. Yeah. Meals are going up because they all ate recently. Got a little bit of alcohol. I'm still not sure how I feel about this. It is keeping their morale up, though, which is something that I haven't really focused a whole lot on. I'm just, like, throwing it around here and there. Really? You hit that one? Of all of them? You hit the ultimate connector turbine? 
the turbine that can connect to the world? Wow, I can't believe you've done this. So yeah, medicine is still doing good. I'm just, I'm looking at up here. I have a ton of bioplastic. So I think another bed area is in the cards really soon because I can expand to that really fast. I just built, like, what happened is I built a ton of starch production really early. And because of that, I've been just, I have tons. This I'm actually super interested in. But for right now, I, I just can't. It, it pains me to say that I can't, but I really just cannot trade for it. It's just too expensive. I would have to trade away billions of spares to do it. Or all of my medical supplies, which are just now rebounding from what I did. But I do want that metal. Metal is... It's pretty important right now, and I'm going to... I'm going to think about where my next set of power storage is going to go. And actually, let's let's just take a quick trip around. This is the edge of the map. Like, I can't go any further than, like, I'm trying to. I'm, like, skirting the edge right now. Like, right... I can't go any further forward. So over here is fair game. Over here is fair game. Um, I can build over here, technically. Over here I can build... So it kind of shoved me, actually, into, like, the top left of the map. Which is kind of interesting. So my plans to expand over here might only let me get to, like, right, right here-ish. So I am gonna have to start looking at how to expand this away. Which might, it might include building an entire separate base, like I was talking about what I didn't want to do. But I might have to. Or the base can just expand all the way over here. Yeah, you know what? I think that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to start expanding all the way over there. After, after, of course, all of this. But I think I can safely say that I want some power over here. A, a couple power collectors. Oh, I need to I need to connect that and also another power collector. I don't want it right here because that'll block building out this way. I know that I said I was going to get a starport here. I still might. Let me see. Yeah, it's going to attach like that. Um Am I prepared for invaders? Not yet. Not yet. I can confidently say not yet. <sighs> we'll just have this one for right now. This one more power collector, and then one more wind turbine. Right there. And you're going to attach to that side. So I'm going to wrap it up right there. And this is Planet Base. My name is Nigark. And thank you for watching.